Frank, obviously, playing against Liverpool with 10 men is very difficult. Um, the, the red card was all important. Yeah, yeah. I think the, certainly for chances, the first half was very even. They had probably had some more ball than us, but we looked really dangerous on the break a couple of times. Red card completely changes the face of the game. It changes the talk that I have to do at half-time. Changes the makes me have to go into a reshuffle and against a team of such quality. It's always going to be difficult. Always going to be difficult with second half of ten men. Any complaints about the decision? Obviously, VAR took a part in it. Yeah, I mean, I think it, I think it could be given or not when you consider that Kepa's coming out. I was, if anything, I'm a bit surprised about the fact that it's a yellow card at first glance that gets changed. If it was given as a red straight away and they continue with that, I think it was somewhere in between. Um, and then in the second half, it becomes really difficult. But obviously, the second goal, you can't ignore the fact that your goalkeeper's made a big error. Yeah, big mistake, um, clear mistake. And then you, when you reflect on the half, you say we're 10 men for half a game against Liverpool. Without that mistake and with the penalty, we draw the game 1-1 and actually have a couple of little other little breakaway moments. So I'm actually happier in lots of ways than I was after Brighton on Monday because Brighton was a good three points and OK performance because we're, we're still pre-season feeling here. Players have enough time to get fit. Today was a game of spirit. It was a game of character in the second half. And lots of individuals showed me loads of good things today. Um, obviously, Kepa has been under a lot of pressure. Edouard Mendy, we think, is coming into Chelsea from Rennes. I'm not sure if that's over the line yet, but it's close. If, if not, perhaps you can tell us. But have you made a decision on Kepa? Is it influenced by what you've seen today? No, and I don't want to say any more about it. Um, can I ask you, um, in terms of taking on Liverpool here and in that first half, you know, was it, were they pushing you back or was it a, a tactical thing? We want to try and soak this up and hit on no, the break? No, I, I thought we, we could get higher up the pitch. I thought we would have done in the second half with 11 because I, th I felt some of our confidence on the ball and where we moved the ball wasn't quite there as it should be. Maybe it's because it's early days. The players haven't been together that much at all. Liverpool have had more time and they're a team that's been built for a long time as well. So I was concerned about how we would defend our box when you had the threat of Mane and Salah. First half, I thought we were brilliant at doing it. And then we had a little moment. So. I was feeling second half we would get higher at the pitch, we could control it more, we would get more chances against their line. Um, the, the red card obviously changed the whole course of how the game was going. Final one from me. Um, Rudiger obviously wasn't in the squad today. You you didn't have it. Tamori did well when he came on, but is there any reason why he wasn't involved? No, every week you'll probably ask me why one of the four stroke five at the minute is not in the squad. All right, thank you, Frank. Thank you. Appreciate cheers, it. Thank cheers. You.